there, it's Miss Kristen again with my trusty sidekick Fiona. Now, I want to show you something and I'll bet you can tell what all of these things have in common. So, what is this? Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a delightful pear. How about this? That is an apple, very good. Now, what do you see here? Some lovely grapes. And what are these guys? That's right, bananas. Yeah, that's bananas. Now, all of these things have something in common, right? They're all what? They're not cats. They're all fruits. And fruits, for the most part, grow on trees. Some grow on bushes or on vines, but fruits grow on trees, on plants. Now, what would happen if the fruit sitting on the tree did not get picked, if no one came by to collect it and harvest it? What do you think would happen to that fruit? Do you have any idea? If it didn't get collected, if it didn't get picked off of the tree, it would kind of just sit there and rot. It would get all brown and mushy. I have a couple of, of grapes here that look a bit like they've been kind of smushed and rotted and nastified. So if fruit just sits there, bananas also, they'll get brown and spotty. It just kind of rots. You know, in a way, people are kind of the same. People can be used for amazing things and God can do wonderful things with our lives. But if no one ever shares with them the love of God, if no one ever tells them about the gospel or shows that they care, some people can let their hearts rot. Some people can just kind of sit there and get nasty. Well, God wants us to be fruit pickers. Did you know that? Jesus has called us to be his special harvesters. He told the disciples, there's a great harvest. There's a lot of needy people out there who need to hear the gospel. And Jesus said, there aren't enough people to go and pick that fruit to help them. And so Jesus told his disciples that they were the ones to go and help people, that their job was going to be to serve people, to care about people. And Jesus even gave them special authority that they would be able to heal and to help and to love and to care and to do amazing things for the gospel, for Jesus. And that's not just for those disciples. That is our job too. Jesus calls us and he wants us to show his love to one another. He wants us to share the good news because if people don't hear about how much God loves them, they won't know. And if they don't know, well then they can't they can't do wonderful things for God. And if they don't know about the love of Jesus and what he's already done for them, then they might as well just be sitting and rotting. They'll be sad, they'll be lonely, they might even do things that are harmful. But if they know what God has done, if they know the good news of the gospel, well then they hopefully will want to go share that with other people and make an even bigger harvest and help other people become disciples. And it just goes on and on and on and it spreads and spreads and then the love of God spreads everywhere. Well, that's what we pray and that's what we hope and that is our amazing job as Christians is that we get the job of sharing God's love and of helping other people. We get the job of plucking them off of the tree so that they aren't just sitting there sad but encouraging them and loving them. And what does that look like? Well, that looks like sometimes telling someone about Jesus who maybe has not heard that good news. And sometimes it's how we live because maybe they've heard the good news, but they don't quite believe it. Or they don't quite understand it or they don't think Christians are really all that great. Well, if we show by how we live, by being loving, by being caring, that can communicate wonderful things to other people. And you know what else? Our job is to share that good news with everyone, not just people we like, not just people who look the same, but with everyone. All the fruit needs picked. The pears don't necessarily look like the apples. They're not exactly the same, right? But they both need picked. The bananas might look great on the outside. They might look kind of spotty on the outside, but they all need picked too. Well, all people are part of God's family. He wants all people to come to know him. So we need to share his love with everyone. People we get along with great, 
People maybe we don't get along with so great. Our job is to share that gospel, to spread that good news, and to spread God's love. And we do that, we can heal hearts. We can keep people from just rotting on a branch, and we can help them to be used, to be shared, and to, to love others as well. That's a great, fantastic task that we have. And it takes daily looking out for those opportunities, looking out for how you can smile at someone in the grocery store. Even if you're wearing your mask, you can smile with your eyes and people will figure it out. Or sharing a positive word, giving someone a compliment, helping someone who maybe needs a hand with something. There's a lot of ways that we can share God's love and share the good news of the gospel. It's not just with our words, it's with our hearts, and with our minds, and with our actions. So we can pray every day that God will show us those opportunities and allow us to help one another, everyone around us. Why don't we say a prayer right now and we can ask God to help us do that. Dear God, thank you for your word, the Bible. Thank you that we can be part of your disciple family. Help us to see opportunities to share your love. Help us to spread the gospel to tell others the good news, to show them your love. We love you, God. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your son, Jesus. In his name, amen. So go keep an eye out for that fruit that needs picked and go make some disciples. See you next time.